and welcome to Somerville Highlander Girls Volleyball on Somerville Ed TV. I'm Todd Harmon and today the Highlanders welcome into Broom Fieldhouse, the Red Devils of Chelsea as we've reached the midway point in the volleyball season. The rankings have come out and we have some standings as well in Division II. Both teams are Division II teams. Chelsea comes in here seven and three overall. They are rated number 39 in Division II. The Highlanders five and five overall. They are rated number 41 in Division II. In the GBL, both teams tied for third place in the GBL with four and three records, but Chelsea owns the tiebreaker currently because they have a three set to one victory earlier this season as we are about to get underway. Chelsea with the first service as Ashley Martinez for the Red Devils hits that one wide here to the near side. We are underway as the Highlanders lead in game one. Of course in volleyball, it is best of five as the ace right there for Alexis Bowie. Nothing the lead for the Highlanders. It is best of five. Three games out of five. Games go to 25 points apiece. You must win those games by two. As Chelsea able to get that one over on the third touch, but that shot too far by Anais Artica. Bowie back at the service line, three serving nil. Another ace there for Bowie as she gets her second ace early on here. Four nothing, the Highlander lead. And as that one's just a little long for Bowie. Point and side out goes to the Red Devils. It will be one serving four. It's back at the service line, Anise Artica. Bowie sends that one over on the third touch. Set up there as the attempted attack there by Ayala gets into the net. Side out to the Highlanders, five serving one. Highlanders come in five and five overall, 20 game season. You have to be 500 or above to make the playoffs. Highlanders would love to make the playoffs for the first time in three years. As they are five victories away from that. It's gonna be a double touch. It's gonna be the call there on Treasure Williams. As she gets hit, called for that double touch violation. Kayla Yee back at the service line for the Highlanders. Very, very strong server is Kayla. You see there with that service, nice dig by Hazel Martinez. It's Martinez with a back line kill attempt dug out by Bowie. Set there, kill attempt by Barriaga, dug out by the Highlanders. Another opportunity here for Chelsea. That's going to go long in the kill attempt by Ayala. Highlanders out to a big lead here early. Seven serving one with Yee back at the service line still. Another strong jumping service. Good dig there by Martinez. Williams will send it over on the third. Kill right there. Nice set and kill. As Catherine Timmons gets her first kill of the game. Set there by Rowan Buckley. Another good service there by Yee. Opportunity here for Williams as she got that right into the Highlander block. Used the power to keep it on that side of the net to get the point for the Red Devils. Side out goes to Chelsea. Two serving eight now. Big service here for Martinez, but too long. Good communication there by the Highlanders. Point and side out to the Highlanders. And it's Giuliani Fairman Rodriguez checking into the game for the Highlanders. Timmons back at the service line. Jumping service here for Catherine. 
And that's going to be an ace for Katherine Timmons. Artica working with the foot there. That is, of course, completely legal. You can hit the ball, you can volley the ball with any portion of your body, but you cannot hit it twice. Jump service again for Timmons. Good dig there as the Highlands now. Buckley with the set. Fairman Rodriguez with the kill attempt. Now Treasure Williams will send it over on the third touch. Buckley again the set. Back line Yee will have to send it over, no danger. Now the set here. As that was a little behind Simon, couldn't get a lot of velocity on a kill there for the Highlanders. It's Timmons once again. Able to drop that one in amongst the Red Devils. Highlanders leading by nine, 11 serving two here in game one. Timmons will get that into the net. Side out goes over to the Red Devils. Three serving 11 now. Angelica Ayala back at the service line for the Red Devils. Good service there by Ayala as she gets the ace. Four serving 11 now. Consistent service, such an incredibly important ingredient. As Yi with the dig that time, Bowie and Yi, a little miscommunication. And another miscommunication there for the Highlanders as Jocelyn Marujo and Roland Buckley played a little bit of ah, you got it, you got it. Highlanders give up the point, five serving 11 now. That service by Ayala into the net. Side out over to the Highlanders. 12 serving five now. Buckley back at the service line. Tracy Williams gets that over on a second touch, but we have a Red Devil through the net on the other side. That is a point to the Highlanders as she went under the net. Cannot, any portion of your body can't get onto the other side of the net. So Ashley Martinez falling to the other side. Grants the point to the Highlanders, 13 serving five. Buckley service that time gets into the net. Side out to the Red Devils, seven serving 13. Treasure Williams back to the service line. Marujo with the dig there. Fairman Rodriguez. Her kill attempt sent over on a single touch. Now the opportunity here. That's going to go out. Was there a touch by the Highlanders? They're going to say no touch. Is that ball out? Highlander point. Anais Artica with that kill attempt. Referees ruling no touch by the Highlanders, landed out of bounds. Highlanders, it's McQueenie now with the service, 14 serving six. Buckley setting it, nice back set, looking for Alexis Bowie, but Alexis unable to get the correct approach onto that that she wanted. Side out back to the Red Devils, seven serving 14. Tanya Simon back at the service line. And Simon stepped over the line. That's a fault. Point to the Highlanders. Side out to the Highlanders. <laughs> Jocelyn Marujo now back at the service line. 15 serving seven. Marujo service directly into the net. Side out right back to the Red Devils. Highlanders leading this one. Since Alexis Bowie was able to give them the lead from the service line, she and Catherine Yee 
combined for some straight service points for the Highlanders. Good service there, handled by Yi. Over on the second touch by Buckley, but Chelsea's in the, it, are able to take care of it, I should say. And the point's going to go over to Chelsea. Touch went out of bounds from the Highlanders. Nine serving 15. Highlanders led by as much as nine. Now the six point lead for the Highlanders. As Martinez put that one into the netting. 16 serving nine. Bowie back at the service line now. That just barely over as it tips the net. And there's Timmons. She just patrolling that middle area of the net. Able to get the kill there, 17 serving nine. Good service there by Bowie. Sent over by Martinez on the third touch. Buckley with the set, Timmons looks for the kill, and she finds it. Catherine Timmons' fourth kill of the game or of the match, I should say. She'll have plenty more. She is dominating the net right now. 18 serving nine. Highlanders leading this one once again by nine. Another good service by Bowie. Opportunity for Barriaga, but she can't get it over the net there. Timmons was there blocking just in case. 10 point lead for the Highlanders. We're going to take a timeout. Chelsea will take a timeout on the floor. We're going to keep it right here for a moment during this timeout. I'm going to remind everybody what's going on at the end of this week. On October 4th, Friday night, 6 o'clock, it is the Tufts Football Classic. Highlanders versus Mustangs at Ellis Oval on the University of Tufts University campus. On the campus, I should say, of Tufts University. Uh, the Highlanders and the Mustangs facing off in football, their first ever trophy game. The first ever Tufts University Classic. That will begin at six o'clock. Make sure you are at Ellis Oval to see the festivities. And if you're unable to make it to Ellis Oval, make sure you have it tuned here to Somerville and TV. As Eddie Maldonado and myself will be there at Ellis Oval with coverage of that game. Highlanders versus Mustangs. The Highlanders look to win their second straight after defeating Chelsea. Looking to go 2-0 in the GBL with a victory in the Tufts Football Classic. 6 o'clock, Friday, October 4th at Ellis Oval. We are back here to volleyball action. Alexis Bowie with the service. 10-point lead here for the Highlanders. Timmons reaching over into the net was Chelsea. So the point goes to the Highlanders anyway. So I believe Barriaga got into the netting. 20 serving nine now. Highlanders up by 11. Bowie really doing a great job at the service line. Very consistent with that left-handed service. That's sent over on the third touch. Queenie with the dig. Now Timmons looks for the kill. And it looks like she's got it and she does. Catherine Timmons just dominating this game up at the net. Five kills for Timmons. As Bowie back at the service line has been fantastic. Juliana Hassel checking in for the Red Devils, 21 serving nine. Bowie tips it off the net the right way for the Highlanders. Yee looking for the kill. Able to be dug out there. Sent over on the third touch by Martinez. Buckley with the set. Yee looking for the kill. Tried to get the light touch there. Just get it over the net in front of the block, but unfortunately unable to for the Highlanders. Side out to the Red Devils. 10 serving 21. Highlanders four points away from taking this first set of the best of five. McQueenie with a nice dig there. We're gonna set up Treasure Williams looking for the kill. Dug out by Bowie. Sent over by Malusia. Second touch is gonna go over. Timmons gets the lift. Bowie, oh yeah, I should say. 
Timmons looking for the kill. Good dig there on the back line. As Martinez got that, but too long on the kill attempt. Side out will go over to the Islanders. 22 serving 10. So the Highlanders will have service. We're gonna take this break with them. We'll be back here on Somerville Ed TV. We are back here at Broom Field House on Somerville Ed TV. Highlander girls volleyball action leading 22 to 10 versus the Red Devils. The first set of the best of five matchup between these two teams. Highlanders have a big week this week as they face off against the Red Devils, a victory over the Red Devils can get them into third place in the GBL. Then they have a matchup against GBL leading Malden. Malden undefeated in the GBL with a big win against Lynn Classical. Those are the top two teams in the GBL. Highlanders took Malden to five sets here at Broom Fieldhouse earlier in the season. We had coverage of that game here on Somerville, Ed TV. If you'd like to check that out, Highlanders had the opportunity to take that game. Malden, of course, undefeated in the GBL leading the GBL. So the Highlanders have a chance for a bit of revenge later on this week and can really propel themselves into much better positioning in the GBL. As Yi with the service here, that gets into the net. Point and side out goes to the Red Devils. 11 serving 22. Highlanders still doubling up the Red Devils here in game one. Chelsea was able to defeat the Highlanders to open up the season. Three games to one at Chelsea. As that service attempt by Simon is out. 23 serving 11. Catherine Timmons back to the service line. Two points away from victory here in the first set. As Timmons was, has been dominant. Five kills this game. She also has an ace. That one's going to get into the net though. It'll be 12 serving 23. They're leading the 24 up for the Highlanders. So I believe the 24 is correct for the Highlanders. So Highlanders one win or one point away. And that will do it for the Highlanders as that goes long. That is game one to the Highlanders by the score of 25 to 12. We're gonna make sure that that's correct. I think it's 24-12. So the scoreboard was incorrect. That will make it 24 to 12 now. Highlanders will have service after the side out. Rowan Buckley will have the opportunity to serve for this first set win. Set point for the Highlanders. Buckley back at the service line. So Highlanders lead this one 24 to 12. Looking to take a one nil lead here in this best of five game, best of five match. Catherine Timmons has been fantastic as she is five kills this game. And now we will be back to it here as Buckley has the opportunity. And the service kisses off the net for the ace. And the Highlanders close it out with the ace by Rowan Buckley. They win this one by the score of 25 to 12. We will be back for the second set of this best of five matchup in just a moment. Are back at Broon Fieldhouse. Second set of this best of five matchup between the Red Devils of Chelsea and your Highlanders as the Highlanders took set one by the score of 25 to 12. Looking to take the two to nil lead here with a victory in game two. As we look over the GBL standings, we find Malden out ahead. They are seven and three overall, seven and zero oh undefeated in the GBL. Lynn Classical second in the GBL, nine and one overall, six and one in the GBL. They lost to Malden last week. 
Chelsea is third in the GBL currently, seven and three overall, four and three in the GBL, tied with Somerville at four and three. However, Chelsea has a win in hand against Somerville earlier this season. A victory by Somerville will put them today, will put them into third place with an impending game against Malden coming up this Thursday on the 3rd of October. As we are about to get underway, we'll finish out the standings. Revere is in fifth at two and four in the GBL. Everett in sixth, Lynn English in seventh, and Medford, no wins on the season. They are in eighth place in the GBL as Timmons dug out extremely well that time by Hassel. Yi looking for the kill. Nice dig on the back line that time by the Red Devils. Well, McQueen, he gets the dig that time. Timmons looking for the kill. Dug out nicely by Martinez, but we're going to get a double touch. Called against the Red Devils. Lengthy volley there. Highlanders come away with the point as they open up one to nothing. Alexis Bowie back at the service line. Started last game at the service line as well. Gave the Highlanders a nice lead. This time, though, tips the tape and goes the wrong way. Side out to the Red Devils. Tied up one apiece here in game two. Anais Artica at the service line. Artica. Hard service there, could have gone out. Timmons helped that one over to get the point. A push ball right there between the two players. Timmons more power, was able to get it over the net. Side out back to the Highlanders. Kayla Yee back in the service line. Yee another one of those Highlanders with very consistent service. As Yee picks up the ace, ace there. Good service there by Yee. Second touch goes over, Bowie with the dig. Now Bowie with the chance for the kill. Good dig on the back line. Second touch, Chelsea got it over. And Marujo did not get a clean touch that time. Point will go to the Red Devils, side out to the Red Devils. Two serving three. That's into the net. Highlanders will get the side out, four serving two now. Timmons now serving for the Highland. Great service by Timmons, but a great dig there by the Red Devils. McQueenie looks for the kill and she'll get it from that outside attacking spot. As Kaylee McQueenie picking up her first kill. Another strong service there by Timmons. Goes over on the second touch. Highlanders able to control it. McQueenie looking for the kill. McQueenie getting the kill. As Treasure Williams unable to control her touch. So Kayla McQueenie, two straight kills for the Highlanders. They lead six, serving two. As Alana Taylor checks into the game for Chelsea. What a good service by McQueenie, or I should say by Timmons, and that will be an ace. Catherine's second ace of the game. She had five kills as well in that first set. Seven serving two. Now a big ace right there for Catherine Timmons. Eight serving two now. So Timmons racking up the service points here. Again, nice service there, able to be dug. They'll send it over on the third touch. Buckley sets. Fairman Rodriguez looking for the kill, but dug out on the back line. Treasure Williams 
Bowie is able to get that. Now Fairman Rodriguez again from that center position. And they send it over on the third. Buckley sets it up. Yee from the back line. Good dig right there by Martinez. Sent over by Williams. Good volley occurring here as Bowie now back line. And the kill as Alexis Bowie from the back line shows the power. Nine serving two now. As Timmons stays at the service line. Five straight service points for Catherine Timmons. Another nice service dug out well that time by Artica. Tips the tape, gets over, and Bowie got the first touch, but Buckley could not corral it near the net. Side out goes over to Chelsea, but the Highlanders building a six point lead with Catherine Timmons at the service line. Three serving nine. <clears throat> that one into the net by Angelico, Angelico Ayala. Fault on Ayala. Goes over to the Highlanders side out. Rowan Buckley back at the service line. Good service there by Buckley. Good dig by Williams. That ended up over on the first touch. Oh my goodness, Bowie gets blocked hard that time. It's Tania Simon. What a job by Simon. Her elevation was able to send that right back at Alexis Bowie. So a tremendous block there. Side out goes over to Chelsea for serving 10. Treasure Williams back at the service line. Yee gets the dig. Buckley sending that one over, but ended up touching the net. Got her hand over the netting. Five serving 10 now. Williams trying to serve the Red Devils back into game two. They trail by one game to nothing after the Highlanders won game one, 25 to 12. But that one into the net. Side out back to the Highlanders, 11 serving five as Kaylee McQueenie back at the service line. Good service by McQueenie, good dig by Simon. Tried to be sent over that time quickly by Ashley Martinez, got into the net, and Martinez ends up with the double touch. Highlanders get the point, 12 serving five. Another fault there for McQueenie. Thought for a moment it was going to get in. Six serving 12 now, side out. Simon back at the service line for the Red Devils. Good service there, an ace for Tania Simon. Simon, a huge block on Bowie this game. Now the ace from the service line, seven serving 12. That's gonna go long. You saw, you heard Marujo make the call on that one. Good reaction by McQueenie. Slide out to the Highlanders, 13 serving seven. Marujo back at the service line. That's a strong service. Too strong by Jocelyn. Side out goes back to the Red Devils. 13, I should say eight serving 13. Ashley Martinez back at the service line. Yee with the dig. But again, Rowan Buckley kind of in that twilight zone area near the net. Can't touch the net. So she couldn't aggressively go after that ball. Point goes over to Chelsea. Nine serving 13. That one into the net. Highlanders will get the point and the side out. 14 serving nine. Highlanders have maintained generally a five to six point lead in this game. Bowie began it at the service line. Here she is again with that powerful left-handed serve. 
more consistent, I would say, than powerful. Good touch there. As Artica able to get it inside the block attempt of Yee and Timmons. Side out goes over to Chelsea. As Treasure Williams checks back into the game. 10 serving 14. Bowie with the dig. Timmons looks for the kill, and she'll get it. Catherine Timmons has been fantastic right in the middle of that offense. A little quick set there for Timmons. Side out back to the Highlanders. 15 serving, 10 Yi at the service line. Kayla, another good, consistent server as she picks up the ace there. Her second of the contest. Treasure Williams goes down to the court hard. Looks like she's all right. 16 serving, 10 now. Yi service dug out on the back line. Williams will send it over on the third touch. Marujo, her touch got in that nether region there, close to the uh, netting, nicely handled by Buckley. And Buckley on the second touch tries to get it over. Dug out by the Red Devils. Treasure Williams tries to get just a little touch over. Again, that twilight zone near the net. If your setters are not controlling their sets well enough, they'll get close to the net, and you really can't aggressively go after the ball. Treasure unable to go after that very aggressively. Does not get a clean touch. Highlanders get the point. That one. Knocked out, Marujo. Let's it go. 18 serving 10. Timeout on the floor taken by Chelsea. We're gonna take it with them as we will be back here Game two action, Highlanders leading this one, one game to nothing. We are back here at Broom Fieldhouse on Somerville, Ed TV. Highlanders leading the Red Devils, one game to nothing, leading game two, 18 to 10. Kayla Yee back at the service line. Dug out nicely as that gets sent over by Martinez on the second touch. Marujo will set it. Bowie looking for the kill from the back line. Too hard, too long. Side out goes to Chelsea, 11 serving 18. McQueenie able to get that kill. Kayla McQueenie has been very, very good on that wide attacking position. Her third kill of this game. 19 serving 11 and Catherine Timmons back at the service line. She has three aces in this match so far. Dug out very nicely. Martinez on the second touch gets it over. Highlanders seem ready for that now. Bowie, a little soft touch over. No danger there for Chelsea. Kill attempt there. She hit it into the block and was able to power it through. Ayala getting the point there. Or strike that. That was Artica getting the point. 12 serving 19. Ayala back at the service line. Her service might have gone wrong. Bowie with the hands up will make the touch. Ace there for Ayala. That's her second of the contest. 13 serving 19. Chelsea trying to climb back into this game too. Trailing one game to nothing already. Ayala gets that into the net. 20 serving 13. Side out goes over to the Highlanders. Rowan Buckley back at the service line. Buckley with an ace today. Service by Buckley, dug out by Williams. Martinez puts it right up near the net and it's going to go for the Highlanders as Treasure Williams once again got into the net there. Again, that set just too close to the net 
As a matter of fact, it looked for a moment like it was going over the net. You got to set far enough away from the netting so your attackers have the room to attack the ball without hitting the net. 21 serving 13. Williams could have gone out. Marujo played it. Sent over by Bowie. Now Martinez looking for the back line set there. Yee, a nice dig. Here's the set for Bowie. Good dig on the back line by Chelsea. And the second touch by Martinez. Find some open floor as Martinez has used that second touch over quite a bit. That's the one of the only times I've seen it work. The Highlanders seem to be ready strategically for that, although that time it was placed perfectly. 14 serving 21, Williams at the service line. McQueenie sends that one over. Now Martinez, again, that set just too close to the net. Nothing that Simon can do about it without getting into the net. Chelsea struggling with their setting right now, getting it way too close to the net as their attackers come up to attack the ball. They're, they can't aggressively go after it because they will get into the net and cost themselves a foul point. McQueenie back at the service line. She's had a heck of a game too. Three kills from that outside attacking position for McQueenie. Good save there as Martinez gets it over on the third touch. And now Marujo may have been guilty of the same thing, and she was. In terms of the set for the Highlanders, Marujo set too close to the net. Highlanders got beyond the net, well, into Chelsea's side, playing that ball. Side out goes over to the Red Devils, 15 serving 22. Simon back at the service line. Good service by Simon, nice dig by Yee. Set here, Fairman Rodriguez. Fairman Rodriguez again. As her first kill attempt was dug out by Ayala, but the dig came right back to her. And Giuliani was able to get the kill then. Marujo serving here, 23 serving 15. Martinez again on the second touch will send it over. Highlanders ready for it. Bowie gets it into the block and powers it onto Chelsea's side as it gets blocked down onto Chelsea's side. Point for the Highlanders. 24 serving 15. Game point for the Highlanders. Bowie picks up another kill. That's going to get into the net. Plenty of game points here for the Highlanders. Side out goes over to Chelsea, another game point. So Martinez will go back to serve, 16 serving 24. Highlanders looking to go up two games to nil. Jump service there by Martinez, and she'll pick up the ace. It's 17 serving 24 now. Long hill to climb. It's Martinez, nice dive there by McQueen, and she was able to get the dig. Now Martinez with the set, kill attempt from the back. Catherine Timmons was there, and it was into the net anyway, and 25-17 is going to be the game two victory for the Highlanders as they go up two games to nil. We will be back for game three action. Highlanders looking for a sweep of the Red Devils here on Somerville Ed TV. We are back here at Broome Field House. Highlanders leading the Red Devils by the score of two games, two nothing. Highlanders looking for a sweep in this best of five matchup. The winner of this game will solidify themselves in third place in the GBL. GBL led right now by Malden. Highlanders a big matchup against Malden later on this week on Thursday as they will face off against Baldwin second time this season. Earlier in the year, they took the GBL leaders to five sets here at Broome. So we'll see what the Highlanders can do later on this week at Malden. If they can defeat Chelsea here, they will go in against Malden as third place in the GBL. 
facing off against the number one Golden Tornadoes. As the Red Devils unable to get the point on that volley. Once again, another foot attempt there. Again, you can touch the, you can volley the ball with any portion of your body. You just can't hit it twice. So, of course, completely legal, but you also can't hit it more than three times or side kick. As Bowie, a rare service error there initially. Alexis has been fantastic today from the service line, building leads for the Highlanders in both games one and two. So an opportunity here for the Red Devils early in game three. The libero Ramirez back at the service line, dug out very well by the Highlanders. Treasure Williams the opportunity, dug out by Marugia. Now Buckley the set, Timmons gets the kill. As Catherine Timmons lines up her seventh kill of the game. Really nice set there by Rowan Buckley as well. Talked about the importance of setting a good set at a good distance away from the net. As Chelsea seems to be setting a little close to the net tonight. As Yee's service gets into the net, still tied now two to two. As Chelsea will get the side out. Ayala back at the service line. She has a couple aces today. Good service there. McQueenie, first touch, sent it right over. McQueenie again on the first touch over. Now Williams looks for the kill, gets it blocked by Timmons. They're going to say, actually, it was not a block. It had rolled off the top tape back to Chelsea's side for a fourth touch. So the Highlanders get the point. Timmons back at the service line. Three aces for Catherine today. Make that four. As Treasure Williams diving for that one. Just a dying quail over the netting there that Williams couldn't get to. Four serving two now. Another nice service there by Timmons. Dug out well. Martinez sends it over second touch. She does that a lot. As Fairman Rodriguez, there's Martinez again with that second touch send over. The Highlanders are ready for that today. There, she, gives, she doesn't send it over, that time is set. Nice block there by Fairman Rodriguez. Alexis Bowie, back line kill attempt. Nice dig there by Artica. Now Treasure Williams gets it over, no danger. Fairman Rodriguez. Now the back line attempt there by Ramirez, but dug out by Bowie. Bowie once again tries the back line kill, didn't quite get the angle she wanted on it as it gets into the net. Good volley there for both teams. Red Devils come away with the point and the side out as Treasure Williams goes back to the line. Three serving four. Williams first service though into the net, point and side out back to the Islanders. Five serving three. Highlanders were able to win game one by the score 25-12. One game two, 25 to 17. Both games, Highlanders took early leads that they never relinquished. Substitution here. Yes, Juliana Hassel coming into the game. Rowan Buckley back at the service line. Good service by Buckley, dug up by Ramirez. And Fairman Rodriguez. Giuliani right there in that middle attacking position. Very active is Giuliani there. Six serving three now. Another nice service by Buckley Ramirez. Another set that was a little too close to the net. You see Martinez, Ashley Martinez, number three. She seems to be there their main setter. She's been sending it over on the second touch. That's something that normally, sometimes, will strategically surprise the other team. The Highlanders have been ready for it. She's only gotten about two points with that. Her sets have been very, very close to the net, which has prevented the attackers from being able to aggressively address those balls. Side out will go over to the Red Devils here. Tanya Simon back at the service line. Her service goes long. Chelsea struggling at the service line. Can't seem to hold service. 
in today's contest. Kaylee McWeeny now with the service, eight serving four. Highlanders just slowly building this lead up as Chelsea struggling from the service line to put together points. They'll send it over on the third touch, McWeeny with the dig. Buckley sets it. Nice adjustment there by Alexis as it was the set was not where she wanted it. Called for that time by Hassel. She could not get it over the net though. Highlanders point, nine serving four now. As Bowie did a really good job, Alexis Bowie did a fantastic job adjusting to that set. McQueenie, she'll pick up the ace. That's her first of the contest. McQueenie, excellent game two for Kaylee as she had three kills from the outside attacking position. 10 serving four, good service by McQueenie. Over on the second touch, and there she is again, Giuliani Fairman Rodriguez. Giuliani is just fantastic right there. As Fairman Rodriguez has been excellent in that middle defensive position, picking up the point for the Highlanders. They lead 11 to four. We're gonna keep it right here. Timeout on the floor. I believe Chelsea's taking it. But let's talk to you about what we've got going on this fall. As we've had thus far, plenty of Highlander action for you all on the court here, the volleyball court, as well as the soccer pitch and the football field. We will continue that coverage as we have girls soccer as well as Highlander boys soccer, both defending their GBL championships. Both of them look on the way towards another appearance in the playoffs. Of course, we have volleyball coverage as well here on Somerville Ed TV as the volleyball team sits at 500. Five wins away from another playoff appearance as they're looking for the first playoff appearance in three years. And if they play like this down the road, that is viably possible. As this win will get them four wins away from a playoff appearance. And while we're talking about the possibility of playoffs, the Highlander football team currently three and one, an eight game regular season. If they beat Medford at the trophy game at the Tufts Classic this Friday, they will qualify with their fourth win to guarantee themselves at least a 500 season this year. So the Highlanders, a lot of great things going on across the athletic endeavors. Is the ace there for McQueenie, picks up her second. We have coverage of all of it here on Somerville Ed TV. Make sure you mash those buttons, like, share, subscribe. We have done it. We have hit 2,500 subscribers. Let's keep pushing forward for the 3,000 as McQueenie picks up her third ace. Thirteen serving four now, Highlanders out to a nine point lead here in game three, looking for a three nothing sweep of the Red Devils to take over third place in the GBL. McQueenie another good service, but that one goes long. Good read there by Ramirez, the libero. Good communication as well as they let that one go. Side out goes to Chelsea, five serving 13. Chelsea has struggled this game specifically to have consistent service. So they've not really been able to string together a lot of service points. Their points have come on side outs and then not been able to build upon it. Ashley Martinez will be back at the service line. She has an ace on the day. Highlanders leading, five serving 13. That one got right on to Kayla Yee. Good service there by Martinez as she picks up her second ace of the contest. Six serving 13 now. As Marujo tries to dig it, nice save there by Bowie. Yee with the third touch but just couldn't quite get it to the corner. So Martinez has needed to needing to guide her Red Devils back into this contest. A couple straight service points there. Another tough service, Yee digs it out. Marujo sets it up for Bowie. Bowie sends it over on the third touch, no danger. Set over here to Taylor. Taylor's kill attempt gets into the net though. 
So side out goes back to the Highlanders. Highlanders happy to get Martinez off the service line. She was serving very well there. Jocelyn Marujo back at the service line for the Highlanders, 14 serving seven. Good service there by Marujo. And the point will go to Chelsea. Miscommunication between McQueenie and Marujo. Eight serving 14. Treasure Williams comes back into the game. Alana Taylor back at the service line. Alana getting her first action of this contest. Good service there. Yi with the dig right up near the net. And which way are we going to go on that? I think they're going to get Buckley into the net. So Buckley with the reach over the net. Penalized the point. Nine serving 14. Chelsea gets the point. Alana Taylor stays at the service line. Islanders have led this game by as much as nine. They're now up by five. McQueenie with the dig. Buckley sends it over on the second touch. Good job there by Martinez to dive for it. But everybody on Chelsea's squad was in the same area of the floor. So the second touch went to an open area. Nobody there for a third. Alexis Bowie now back at the service line. Help the Highlanders build those leads that they never relinquished in games one and two from that service line. That gets into the net from the back line from Ramirez. Point to the Highlanders, 16 serving nine. service for Bowie. That one hits the tape, goes the wrong way. Chelsea gets the side out. Ramirez back at the service line. Ten serving 16. Marujo with the dig. Buckley sets it. McQueenie's got to get it over. She does! Did not Chelsea did not expect that as McQueenie was able to get a wild spin on that ball from the back line. We're going to give her a kill, a back line kill on that. Why not? That's her fourth. McQueenie having an excellent match. Kayla Yee, her service. Dug out, single touch over. Now Buckley sends that over on the second touch. Buckley also the normal setter for the Highlanders giving the Red Devils a bit of their own medicine there with the second touch send over for the point. 18 serving 10. Highlanders leading this one two games to nothing. Did it hit the line? No, it did not. Just long. As the elevated, elevated referee here on the near side saying it was just a bit long. Telling head coach Steve Walker for the Highlanders, just a bit long. Seven point lead for the Highlanders, 11 serving eight. That one will also be just a bit long. Good read there by the Highlanders. Alexis Bowie able to not address that ball, allowing it to go out, 19 serving 11. It's Catherine Timmons at the service line. She's been excellent, four aces on the day for Catherine. Set there, Treasure Williams. Will pick up the kill. As Timmons, her touch was a little soft. Bowie, her footing was a little slippery. 12 serving 19, Williams back at the service line. Chelsea needs a run of service points to get back in this game. Marujo with the dig, single touch goes over. The set here for Taylor, dug out by McQueenie. Now Buckley with the set. Fairman Rodriguez. She has been fantastic here in game three. Giuliani Fairman Rodriguez there in the middle. Multiple kills. Showing a defensive specialty up there as well. 20 serving, 12. Rowan Buckley at the service line. 
Martinez sends it over on the second touch. Highlanders handle it easily. Good job by Alexis Bowie as she adjusted on that one and got it over. Martinez over on the third touch. Buckley again, back set, looking for Bowie. Didn't quite get the elevation on that set, I think, that she wanted. So the Highlanders give up the side out there. 13 serving 20, Simon back at the service line. Service by Simon, dug out by Marujo. McQueenie will go get it. And McQueenie once again will pick up a kill. Highlander fans loving that one. 21 serving 13 as McQueenie will go back to the service line. She also has three aces today. She has been excellent. Highlanders all around have been excellent. Four aces now for Kaylee McQueen. 22 serving 13. Highlanders three points away from the match victory. Highlander victory here will get them into third place in the GBL. With a matchup coming up against GBL leader Molden, the team the Highlanders took to five sets earlier this season. That one dug out by Williams. Martinez sets sent over by Barriaga. Now the back set, looking for Bowie. Good block there, as Artica got a piece of it. Now Artica looking for the kill. And it was hit outside of the little red and white candy striped poles there. Has to go in between them. Point to the Highlanders, 23 serving 13. Highlanders two points away from winning this match. McQueenie at the service line. Another good service. Second, second touch over. <clears throat> And that one works. You can see how Martinez's second touch over can be very effective. The Highlanders, though, seem to have been ready for that most of the time today. And it's only about the third point she's gotten on that. She'll serve that. It went long. Was it touched? That's the question. It definitely went long. 14 is serving 23, that's the score. Highlanders up 23-14, two points away from a match victory. If they're able to win the side out, they will serve for the match. That ball was out, the question is whether it was touched. And they're gonna say there was a touch. I, I, would, I would tend to not agree with that, but no replay here in high school volleyball. 15 serving 23 is Martinez. Another good service, dug out well by Marujo. Set for Yi. And that one, outside of the red and white striped poles. 16 serving 23. It's Martinez trying to put together some points here. Good call by the Highlanders, good communication, calling the out. Good eye by Marujo. Highlanders now will serve for the match as Jocelyn Marujo. 24 serving 16, match point. Good service by Marujo, dug by Martinez. Sent over on the second touch, and you see right there how that can catch teams off guard. Highlanders have been prepared for it for most of this game, but Martinez now getting a couple points here in game three, critical points. As Artica back, still match point. Highlanders win this point, they win this match. That will go long, and that will do it as the Highlanders take game three by the score of 25 to 17, and they take this match by the score of three games to nothing as they sweep the Red Devils out of Broom Fieldhouse today. The Highlanders take over third place in the GBL. A fantastic game by Katherine Timmons as she had seven kills by my count and four aces as well. Kayla McQueenie, also an excellent game. Four aces for Kaylee and, and five kills. Alexis Bowie, 
Also a fantastic game, serving the Highlanders to big leads in those first two games that they never relinquished. Highlanders win this one by virtue of the sweep, three games to nothing. And now they're in third place in the GBL. That will do it for us today from Broomfield House. Thank you very much, Bill Trudeau, <coughs> Bill Trudeau on camera. Thank you, Joe Constantine, with the direction. I am Todd Harmon, and you have been watching Somerville Highlander Girls Volleyball on Somerville NTV.